guys, Leslie here. Today is the last day of September and very seldom do we have a five Saturday month. Last week we wrapped up the Re-Reputation series and I am so looking forward to jumping into something fun in October. I don't know if you're like me, but traditionally around my house, October is the kickoff to the busiest season of the year. October is full of a different event and festival almost every weekend. It just kind of ushers in, the no in November when I think we are all looking for a little solitude, along with a nice reminder of regardless of how busy life gets, a key point to happiness is always gratitude. Then December rolls in to keep the busyness going all the way up to the new year. So before life gets going at 100 miles per hour and every day is insanely busy, I would like to take a moment to talk about the importance of rest. Yes, even in the whirlwind of busy, we still need to focus on our own health and a huge part of that is rest. Throughout the Bible, we see the importance of rest. In fact, rest is so important that before we get even out of the second chapter, God speaks of rest. Genesis 2.2 2. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. I truly do not believe God needed rest. This is, to me, is an example of the importance of rest, an example of the importance of stepping away from everyday life. Whether we are having fun, like at all the fall festivals that will soon be springing up everywhere, or just simply stepping away and removing ourselves from the repetitiveness of day-to-day -day life. And please, don't get me wrong, there is beauty, growth, and fruit that comes from habits and consistency in life. But every once in a while, we need to step away to be able to appreciate that beauty. We even see Jesus engaging in times of rest. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat. He said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. That's Mark 6, 31. This occurred right before the feeding of 5,000. Jesus made sure himself as well as his disciples were rested and fed prior to the crowds. After the crowds began to leave, Jesus let his disciples go ahead to the boat while he went away for rest. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to Bethsaida. While he dismissed the crowd, after leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. Spending time with God is a key part to achieving true rest in prayer, in the word, in worship, in meditating in his goodness. Rest is found in God when we quiet our minds and open them to him, to his presence, to his love, to his guidance, and to his voice. God gives us a promise in 2 Samuel 7, 10 through 11. And I will provide a place for my people Israel and will plant them so that they can have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. Wicked people will not oppress them anymore as they did at the beginning and have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people Israel. I will also give you rest from your enemies. The Lord declares to you 
the Lord himself will establish a house for you. He gives us the promise that he will give us rest from our enemies. He promises that he will establish a house for us. Homes are typically thought of as places of refuge, places of peace, places of rest. This is God's promise to you and to me that in him, he will give us rest. I encourage you to take a moment and rest in him. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for everyone who's watching us right now. I just pray that you just lay your hands on them. I just pray that you envelop them in your love and your presence, that you just let them know that they are not alone, that when they take that step, that you are right there beside them, guiding them leading them, loving on them. Lord, I love you and I praise your name, dear Jesus. Thank you for your love and for your son. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. I cannot wait to see you next week.